Uh, put tab again. What's up, guys? Alex here, AJNashville.com. Um, I want to provide some tips for some of our home buyers, uh, people that are just buying their first home, or maybe they're buying a home and it's they haven't purchased one since pre-2009, where basically all you had to have was nothing to get a loan. So one of the things I want to talk about, and this isn't a situation that's happened extremely recently, but it's happened quite a bit throughout my career, and that's bank statements. So one of the things we have to look at is when you are purchasing a home, we have to make sure that you have the assets in order to do so. We have to make sure that you didn't run down to Title Max and get a title loan on your car in order to put the down payment down. We need to make sure you have the ability to do so either yourself or through a gift or some other form uh, of having that or having access to those funds. So one of the things we ask for is bank statements. And I always get the same thing. It's, what do you need my bank statements for? We need them to make sure you have some money. I mean, let's face it, you're buying a two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollar house, maybe more, maybe less. Um, we want to make sure that you have access to some funds when it comes to purchasing that. Keep in mind when you're buying a home, there's layers of risk and having assets removes one of those layers. So one of the things I commonly see is people are buying a home. You say, hey, send me your bank statements. They say, well, um, I don't get them until the end of the month. You probably have online access. It is 2017. I know there's some banks out there in like Afghanistan that don't have online access, but locally most banks do. So you get in there, print them off. Now one thing I see people do is I see them take and they cross out the last four of the bank account number. Don't do that. Or they go in and they cross out when they were in Vegas and they withdrew $2,000 at Caesars Palace. Don't do that. Um, they may go and cross out their name or something of that nature, or even worse, they send every other page. Don't do that. Um, the other thing is, we don't care what's on your bank statement. We are looking for large deposits or unusual transactions on your bank statement. So if you go and you take your mattress money and you put it in the bank and we have a $10,000 deposit, that's a problem. If you have an addiction to online porn and you get charged 10 times a month for it, I don't care. I'm not going to look at it. I really don't care. I, I can't tell you how much I go through and I just look at the lines. And if we have things that have four digits, I look to see what it is. If it's less than in the thousands, I'm never even going to see it anyways. I don't care if you eat McDonald's 10 times a week. Don't care. So make sure when you're submitting bank statements, you have all pages. You don't black anything out. There's no crazy large deposits that you can't explain. Keep in mind, everything has to be documented. Um, people raise hell over it, but guess what? You are borrowing hundreds of thousands of dollars to purchase a home. We have to make sure you qualify. So that's just my home buyer tip of the day. Is there any questions or anything on there? No. Billy says, what's up? What up, Billy? The man. That's my credit repair guy. So everybody that's... Ed says, um, what's up? Ed Stajanovich. Yeah, I couldn't. I, I didn't try. <laughs> That's my brother from another mother. Um, Billy, back to Billy. He actually helps out quite a few of my veterans when we do some credit repair. This way we can get some veterans kind of set up to where they need to be. We do have a recent case where in less than three months, a veteran's score was raised over 100 points. So if you're looking for some credit repair and looking for a good alternative, uh, somebody that's trustworthy and somebody that doesn't knock your head off when it comes to um, upfront fees and things like that, please look down below and talk to my buddy Billy Alt. Um, if you are in Indiana, you need a loan, talk to my boy Ed. Anyone else on there? Oh. You don't read fast, do you, boy? <laughs> no. You don't read fast, do you, boy? All right, we're done here. We'll talk to you later.